I started medical school not knowing what specialty I was going to pursue. And when I did my surgical rotation, I found that I liked the problem-solving aspect and then the ability to intervene and try and make things better. Um, I also had some really good mentors in medical school who showed me what a, a valuable career could be to be a surgeon, so I credit them. I, I chose endocrine surgery because I liked the complexity of the medical aspects of endocrinology, understanding the diseases and the, the treatments. I enjoy the technical aspects of the operations. Um, and again, I had very good mentors. I trained uh, at UCSF and Dr. Orlo Clark was uh, in the height of his career as a person who developed or helped to develop the field of endocrine surgery. I spent time at the National Cancer Institute with Jeff Norton who did many of the similar things and, and uh, then my first faculty job I worked with uh, Sam Wells um, who again had great impact on the field and on me um, through that mentoring relationship. You know, surgery changes faster than anything I can imagine. It, it's so different now than it was when I started training. What's the same is our focus on the patients and on sorting out what their problems are and how we can best intervene to help them. In general, surgery has become less and less impactful on the rest of the person's function and, and uh, their ability to recover. We've developed ways to uh, operate through smaller and smaller incisions and things that are easier to heal. Uh, I think the, in my career the development of laparoscopy as an operative technique um, rather than just a diagnostic technique had a tremendous impact on outcomes from surgery. Um, I expect there will be similar things going forward. Uh, the ability to intervene through catheter-based treatments for vascular disease has changed everything there uh, and will find out over the next decades whether some of the robotic approaches or using more complex tools that can do parts of operations for us uh, will fulfill all of their promise. Sure, I, I've always enjoyed teaching um, in general, whether it was surgery or other things, and I found that it was a, a good way to have an impact broader than just the patient who's right in front of me right now. Um, I could teach somebody to do something and then I'm in some way having an impact on all the patients that they treat and all the people that they teach. And so it has a, a ripple effect. Yeah, stay curious. Uh, it's a, a tremendous field to go into because the, the more you learn, the more there is to learn. Uh, and we can always do more for our patients. So, um, by staying curious, by investigating the things that don't quite make sense, is how we advance the field. And so I think the, the medical students who find that this appeals to them uh, can have a tremendous career. Uh, I became involved with this book because my, one of my mentors from UCSF, uh, Larry Way, had been the uh, sole editor for the book for some time previous to that. Uh, and he asked me to come on to, to help edit the book over a, a series of editions that we did together um, while he transitioned out of uh, his active practice. Yeah, so th we've, this has been a big uh, refresh for this edition. Um, we've added some chapters, for example, there's a new chapter on bariatric surgery. Um, we've done major revisions of a large portion of the book with um, new emphasis on cardiac surgery and thoracic surgery. Uh, a new approach to the chapters on obstetrics and gynecology as well as uh, hand surgery. So I think there's, there's uh, it's really a, a great book, especially for the student or junior resident who wants to have a broad fund of knowledge about the field of surgery and the management of surgical problems. Access Surgery is a great resource because it brings together um, the resources of McGraw-Hill that apply to surgery in one place uh, that is searchable, that is, uh, can apply different uh, sources of information to answering questions. There's video and other multimedia types of content. 
uh, and content from different textbooks that have uh, varying levels of detail uh, about the specific diseases. Access Surgery is also a great learning tool because it has the multiple choice questions and uh, exam um, preparation uh, resources available that I think are very useful.